Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome back to the Roma Dicta World. I have such an exciting video today. I have in my hands my orders from Viva More. I ordered Caramel Pop in the full size and I ordered Choco Exclusive in the full size and I ordered a discovery kit of the new five perfumes that they have. So in this video, you're gonna see my true, raw, first impressions of everything. And I'm also gonna be giving you my review up until this point of Lost in a Dream by Navitas X Paulina Shar. So let's get right into it. Open up the first box. We're just ripping it up. I don't know. I don't know what they want, but I'm too excited. And immediately I drop a box. Awesome. <laughs> you guys are getting first hand, first hand viewing of the chaos that is my world. Guys, I am so excited. I'm gonna jump straight into Choco Exclusive. This is how it comes. I like the box. Packaging feels quite luxe. I'm gonna pull it out and you have this component. I love a magnetic little moment. I'm gonna pop it open and you get... This is like... I feel like all brands should do this if they can and can afford it. I feel like they definitely should like do a card with all the notes and stuff. I love that. It says, thank you for your purchase. Embark on an unforgettable journey. Illuminate emotions. Leave an unforgettable trail. Create memories to cherish forever. We shall see. This is the bottle. Let me get it out. So it has like the same plaque that the Navitas bottles does. And I like that. And the cap is a little weighted. That's cool. These are quite cold. So please take my first impressions with a grain of salt. I will be letting them sit for a few days and then doing a full wear test but i am gonna try this now because i cannot wait i'm gonna try it directly on skin i didn't i just showered i put on an unscented lotion just so i could try these that atomizer is pretty Look, that's nice i'm not smelling i'm not breathing at all dry 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 Okay, first sniff, I got this woody dark chocolate. First thing I get, woody dark chocolate. And then immediately I get orange, so it becomes kind of like a Terry chocolate orange situation. And that's what I have right now. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and like, this will probably just get better with time. I get dark chocolate orange and woods in that order ah uh, what a win okay okay so first one's a win so far so far let me read you guys all the notes so chocolate exclusive that has massive perfumer sedoni lancaster and top notes of sicilian blood orange and calabrian bergamot definitely get the blood orange Hard notes, I hard notes, you have dark chocolate and African coffee absolute. Ooh, that must be why it smells so woody. African coffee absolute, uh-huh. And then in the base, you have uh, Pancakes Accord, which really sold me. Maple syrup and Mag Madagascar vanilla. Now, I hope these base notes, like, because I'm a little iffy on when base notes aren't, like, strong notes like things that make it last so i'm hoping that even though these base notes are gourmand this perfume still lasts but so far it smells great better than i hoped i don't know what exactly i hoped for i just saw chocolate and pancakes and lost my mind okay so that's the first one winning we're gonna put it right here and then we have caramel pop and this one this one, I wasn't, I was just gonna like try it in the sample set, which is why I got the sample set in the first place. I was mostly interested in Choco Exclusive and Caramel Pop, but I've had like, I've tried Caramel Popcorn perfumes and fragrances in the past, and they never like, they wow me, like I love them, but they never perform how I want them to, so I never really end up keeping them. I've had like Shane Blue London Salt Caramel um before and that one didn't do much and what about pop i've sampled as well by the house of oud and i love how it smells 
but the caramel component doesn't stay as long as I'd like it to. But caramel pop, I'd heard really good reviews, and it was like the last day of my no buy, of the last day before my no buy, and I was like, you know what? I'm pick her up anyway. Eighty-seven fifty in dollars. I live in Europe. Dollars? I can do that. So for this one, I'm gonna start with the notes first. Wait, that's the bottle. Imagine it falls right now and I lose my mind. That's the bottle. Again, Master Perfumer is Sedoni Lancaster. And the top notes are Italian Bergamot and Caramelized Popcorn Accord. Stop rambling. Let's try it. So this is the bottle. I love that you can still see like the like your fill level of fragrance with this. Not smelling. Not breathing. Living a breathless life. Waiting. Waiting. Okay. I definitely get salted buttered popcorn. I definitely get that. And something fruity? Let me look at those notes again. I guess that must be the bergamot. Buttery, salted popcorn and something fruity. It's nutty too, it must be the chestnuts. Did you guys know that you can actually only smell like three notes in a perfume at a time the first time you smell it? Like there's no way that anybody can smell eight notes. Even the most sophisticated noses, they need time to like pick out everything. So it's usually like max three notes. I get, I get buttery salted popcorn. I guess the nuttiness from the chestnut. Oh, and the, the citrus is going away, the fruit is going away. It's becoming more and more caramelly. Okay, that is really nice. And so far, I am happy that I blind bought the full bottle. Wow, you guys. I find it so cool that I can film this for YouTube. Like, I love watching first impressions videos. Amy Glam was like, is still probably my favorite YouTuber. And she used to do these first impressions videos all the time and it was so fun for me just to see like how she reacts to perfumes especially if it's a perfume that i knew and stuff like that look at them siblings definitely getting more of the coffee and chocolate exclusive now these are so gourmand i think they would layer together really well too this leans a little bit more I don't want to say masculine, because it doesn't smell manly, it smells like coffee and chocolate. Like, that's everyone has coffee and, and eats chocolate. But, it's a little darker. It's a little darker, um, while, while Caramel Pop is a little bit more bright, fun, gourmand. Both are very gourmand, though. This is just less sweet. I really like these bottles. Let's compare these to uh, Navitas bottle. I have here Baklava Royale by Navitas. Another love from last year. This is them next to each other. The Viva More bottles are a little smaller in size. The caps are different. The plaques are the same. Except um, this one is a little longer, more rectangular. This one is square. But they both, are, they're like plaques and not stickers. And this is what the caps look like. If you're wondering why I have my tray set up there, I have, I'm going to be filming a... December perfume tray update Because you guys know if I wore everything how I felt about them stuff like that Okay, so far caramel pop is projecting the strongest Okay, so I have some scent strips here and I thought it'd be fun if I tried the other three perfumes from the Viva More collection Just give you guys my first impressions So this is the discovery set. This is how it comes And the box for the Discovery set is also magnetic, which I think is a nice touch. Ah, excuse me. <laughs> which I think is a nice touch, and they come like this. That's cool. Oh, and it comes with a little card for you to get to see all the notes while you're reading. That's sick. I love that. I love stuff like that. I really want to try their other stuff, like from their older collection, I, like their Cherry Privé and their Absolute Aphrodisiac. I really want to try that, and I probably will someday. 
So the three that I haven't tried yet are Dubai Reverie, Sweet Sin, and Vanilla Vice. Let's get into them. Start with Dubai Reverie, and that has notes of Spanish Clementine, lychee. Oh, I love lychee. Black currant, Ivorian ginger, Madagascan vanilla cream. Love a cream. Virginia cedarwood, Haitian vetiver. I really like vetiver as well. You wouldn't expect me to, being a gourmand queen, but I love vetiver. Amber and white musk. Dubai Reverie, let's go. This reminds me of something. This reminds me of a designer perfume. This is like spicy citrus. I definitely get the ginger, I definitely get the clementine. I think I get the cedar. I'm something witty. This is like a this is like a sweet, fluffy, slightly spicy citrus. I do not need a full bottle of this as of right now, but it's always fun to sample. And next we have Vanilla Vice. The name drew me, but then I saw people comparing it to Baby Cat, and I've tried Baby Cat, I even have a sample of it, but it's not like something that I feel like I need at all. Um, the notes for Vanilla Vice are Cognac Absolute and Almond, Heliotrope Suede, that's why it smells like Baby Cat's people, and the incense. Um, base notes are Brazilian tonka bean, Madagascan vanilla, and ambergris. Which probably really lasts very long. Yeah, definitely baby cat vibes. It's nice. Like, if you can't find Baby Cat or if you can't afford Baby Cat, this is definitely a good alternative, in my opinion. You Immediately you get the suede. Immediately I get the vanilla. I get suede and I get vanilla. And something woody. That is not bad at all. That's very, like, femme fatale. Or, like, because men could totally wear it, but I think on a woman it would smell very like, oh, this is a woman that takes charge. And maybe I'll become her someday. I, I already take charge, trust me, I am a bossy bee. But I don't really need to smell like her. And last but not least, we have Sweet Sin. And this one I was also really excited to try. Um, because it kind of sounds a little bit like Dulce Diablo, like male Ecstas with, like, the apricot and the gourmand notes. Let me see. Sweet Sin has notes of dried apricot and peach. Hard notes of rum absolute, Brazilian tonka bean, and Indian benzoin. Base notes of Madagascan vanilla, Indonesian patchouli, and white musk. Which is supposed to be like a boozy, fruity, peachy perfume. But I'm not like super big on peach notes. I like an apricot, but a peach can go either way for me, so I wasn't sure about that one. It does have Bertrand Duchefort as master perfumer with Pierre Flores. And I think that's who did Mielek Stas as well, so... And I know that's who did Baklava Royale and Chocolate Queen, which I love, so I have high hopes. Alright. That immediately gives me Mielek Stas, but with, more, with peach. Mielek Stas has apricot. Yeah, Mielek Stas with peach. Definitely a little boozy. I get the apricot, I get the peach, I get the rum. It's also woody. All of these seem to have quite a woody component, so that is something to look out for if that's not something for you. I personally really enjoy that in my fragrances. I quite like Sweet Sin. But I have Mille Extase and I don't think they're different enough. And Mille Extase has chocolate as well, which, you know, gets me. Okay, last but not least, let's talk about Lost in a Dream. Now, disclaimer, my bottle did come leaking a little bit. And it seems to still be leaking, which sucks. So I don't know if it affects the juice or not. But I'm just going to tell you guys how I feel about it. I've been testing it and testing it since I got it before Christmas. And they are sending me a new bottle, so I don't even worry about that. 
And I do feel like, I'll, I'll be honest, like I do feel like every time I smell it, I smell something different. Every time I spray it on me, I smell something different. So sadly, Navitas is still doing that thing where they don't properly macerate their fragrances before they sell it. Like, I can't stand when people fall into the delusion of like, yeah, no, you just like, you don't understand the perfume, you have to let it macerate. I don't have to let it macerate. People don't know this, but macerating is something that the perfume company is supposed to do before they sell it to you. You can let it sit, give it two, three days because of delivery, messing with like the temperature and stuff like that, you let it sit, but not for months, for days. And that's only because of the delivery. It's supposed to be ready before it arrives to you. I'm not supposed to be macerating anything. That's not my job. But, lost in a dream. I bought this because I saw a croissant. And I was hoping this would be kind of like a milky, buttery, pastry fragrance. There's also going to be coffee in this and fig milk and stuff like that. But what I get, honestly, the first time I smelled it, the first, first time I sprayed it, I got This Is Her by Zadig and Voltaire. And then the second time I got more commodity milk, it got more woody on me. I didn't like that. I didn't like that it smelled so much like perfumes that I've owned in the past. I had This Is Her and I've sampled commodity milk. And I didn't like that it smelled just like those. I was ho it didn't sound like it would from the note, so I was hoping it'd be something different. Like milk expressive for a long time and then a few days ago I sprayed it again and I got a hint of a croissant accord, I won't lie, I got a hint of a croissant accord and I was super excited. And I'm spraying it again today and I get a, the super, like the super dry wood and like a fluffy marshmallow type situation. Which again is commodity milk, but this is like commodity milk bold. And it also doesn't project, and it doesn't last, but again, remember my bottle was leaking, stuff could be affected. But that is just where I'm currently at with Lost in a Dream. I love the bottle, I find it so beautiful, and like, like I find it very elegant and feminine, even though the fragrance is very unisex. And I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it's not unique, and it's not doing what it's supposed to do. When they send me my new bottle, I will spray it and I'll let it sit. For like a week or two and then i'll come back in another video probably like a haul video or something and then give you guys my review let me just get a thumbnail real quick that was it you guys thank you so much for joining me on this video i had a lot of fun filming it i literally was like ready to go for my delivery i got like i did my makeup i showered i put on this unscented lotion and everything i've been anticipating this delivery i ordered choco exclusive and the viva more discovery kit on the 20th of December and I ordered caramel pop on the 31st and they both arrived today so I've been really like waiting and salivating over these perfumes and I'm so happy that they seem to work out so far. Lost in a Dream is pretty disappointing right now but I have to be honest it's not really you know doing much for me. And the discovery kits, sweets and a vanilla vice are quite impressive. Not perfumes that I per se need to run out and get but they're really good and Dubai Reverie is also good it's just not like I'm not a citrusy fresh perfume type of girl but yeah Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed your time in the Aroma Addict World and I hope to see you next time.